Hi guys, VST here, Veras Pistech. If you have been watching my videos lately, you know that in the very latest update from One UI 3.0, there was a new functionality added in Secure Wi Fi. And I did a review of the latest One UI 3.0 Beta 3, you can find it here. But then I said that I'm gonna go back to the secure Wi-Fi and do some more testing. So guys, today, this is the day. This video is about this new secure Wi-Fi. I just want to understand what is the mechanics, how does this work? And then by understanding this, we can also kind of like assume and try to understand what is the level of security. So I'm just gonna pick up my phone and first show you how we can activate this. So apparently you have to go to the quick settings and then when you scroll to the right, you're gonna see something called secure Wi-Fi, right? So when you press it, you just activate it and then you apparently have right now the secure Wi-Fi and you can see here when you hold it with your finger guys you're gonna get a setting directly to the secure Wi-Fi when you go into the secure Wi-Fi app then you're gonna see an N which pretty much indicates there is a new thing and then I can see a notice right now of course it's not new because I opened this but did notice is from last year when apparently Samsung offered this Wi-Fi protection services when I open it of course I can see first Bulgarian but then there is also the English text so apparently this service has been introduced I think a year ago. Right now it has right here for the Galaxy S20 Plus using the latest One Entry Zero. Introducing the Samsung secure Wi-Fi service as public Wi-Fi hotspots are now available in more places such as coffee shops, hotels, whatever, airports. More users are putting their personal information, online purchases, historic bank details, credit card details at risk by using unsecured public Wi-Fi connection. And I think this is really like the use case. This is gonna be the use case when you can use the secure Wi-Fi protection. So maybe you're waiting for your train to arrive or you're sitting in a cafe and then you, you know you accidentally open your phone, you hook it up to the Wi-Fi and then you wanna see your bills, check your bills and etc. And this is really like how you are exposing your data, right? And there's also guys, there is some of the scammers are using this attack where they'll sit down in a cafe and open a public hotspot from their phone, you know, just dubbing the name of the cafe. And then a lot of people will connect to their phone thinking this is like the official Wi-Fi. And then the guy will kind of like sneak of the traffic, sniff and perform other like malicious activities. So this is kind of usually the use case that you can use the secure Wi-Fi protection. The secure Wi-Fi service protects Wi-Fi connections so that you can use the internet more safely without worrying about getting hacked or using low personal information. Again, we know 250 megabytes Wi-Fi data every month free. If you want to pay guys for a full month, it's only two euros. And I think it's really like a great offer. So guys, I will now say, let's try to see really what is the level of protection and what exactly is the mechanism behind that. And we can see right now I'm using already my Wi-Fi connection. So it's then 2G, your Wi-Fi connection is being protected to keep your personal data safe. And then you also see, you can stop apparently the protection. You can choose a protection plan, which we last time we viewed it is like 250 megabytes for free. And then you can just go there. And I think it was not so expensive because you apparently can upgrade it, right? So if you need to just have like one month unlimited is like two euro. But if you want to use it just like, let's say for 24 hours, it's just like one euro. So I would say it's not really that much expensive, all right? So this is the protection plan and this is how it looks like, right? You apparently can go and protect apps and you can individually select which apps should be protected or not. So let's say if you are on a public Wi-Fi in a cafe, you want to protect kind of like your phone, but let's say you want to play a game and you don't want like the game data to be protected, then of course you can go and just exclude a game like I'm doing right now with this benchmark. So I would say that's kind of like a nice feature. And then guys, something nice, you have also protection activity. And this protection activity pretty much looks like all the other settings from the One UI. So you can see the last days, you can see the month protection, how many megabytes really have been protected. And then you can also see, you know, secure data user. So let's say what of your application use the data. When you scroll here and the protection is enabled, you can also see it from your notifications, protected, your Wi-Fi connection is being protected. When you click, you're gonna go directly here to this secure Wi-Fi. But I wanted to understand really what this protection means and I will show you a really a nice way to identify what happens behind the scenes. And I'm gonna let you know guys, it's very, very easy. You just need to open a website browser like Chrome and then you need to go to a site called whatsmyip.com. And this site actually is gonna give you information of your public IP address, guys. So this pretty much means that you can see with a site like this, your public IP address. So this is like the public IP address of your phone, or it could be any other device that is connected that you're using right now. And this is really the IP address that 
everybody else on the internet can see you. And we can see a very interesting fact right now. Here we can see that my public IP is 35, but you know, I'm absolutely not in Netherlands. This apparently here, the location you can see is Groningen in Netherlands, and apparently the internet service provider is a Google LLC. So I can say that right now, you know, secure Wi-Fi from Samsung kind of offers you protection from using a Google Cloud service or something like this. So apparently you're going to get a nice level of protection and all your traffic really is channeled from and by Google. In that case, maybe if you live in another country, you're going to get connected to another service. Right now, I see that my IP address, the phone that I'm using right now is connected through Netherlands using an IP address, but I'm not in the Netherlands at all, right? So we can now really understand how this protection works.